Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I will be speaking about the ongoing research master's and PhD engineering scholarship in Monash University, Australia. Monash University, Australia is one of the top institutions in the world. It boasts of world-class professors, state-of-the-art research laboratories and facilities, as well they provide generous funding for international applicants. This particular um, PhD and master's research scholarship do not uh, require English test for some specified country. As well, you don't need to provide DGRE test scores. One important information is the fact that the Australian border has been opened right from the 21st of February, 2022. So the Australian government now allows international students to come over to Australia. And now to go into details of finding this scholarship, like we always do, we go to Google, we search Monash University Graduate Engineering. All right. Graduate engineering. So this particular scholarship is targeted for engineering students. So we come here to the first link. All right. So the next thing we'll be doing is to click on department. All right. So here you can go straight to your to your specific department. Like in my case, I will be clicking something like chemical and biological engineering. All right, the next thing you will really want to do is to click on our research degree. So probably you've clicked on civil engineering, you still see this specific link. All right, so now we are here. So this is the um, information stating about the recruitment of potential PhD students. And these are the field in which you really need to find a supervisor one important thing, information to pay attention to is the closing date. You can see this um, closes on the 31st of March, 2022. And as well, the round two closes, I think the round two starts from April, 1st of April till the 31st of August, 2022. That's for international applicants. And now one important thing is to try to find a supervisor so you try to click on the particular research team take for instance if you're interested in biotechnology you can try to like send an email to these um, professors and now if you really check my channel you see that i have provided a very direct way in which you can contact all these professors and you will immediately receive a reply so if you can send this type of email structure you will you will really get a reply and probably if the reply is not favorable you can move to the next professor so it is very important you check that link just go click on my name and search for the data that i mentioned about how to send a uh, an email to a potential supervisor and you get it fast reply. So now let's take for instance, maybe you've secured or you've been told by a specific professor that you can go ahead to apply and you can mention my name during the application process. So the next thing you'll be doing is to go back and click on how to apply. So this how to apply form, this how to apply form takes you to the application platform and how you are going to supply all your personal information. Here, I've tried to like create a simulation I'm from Nigeria. So if you supply your country, like you are from Nigeria, it is going to ask you. So maybe take for instance, there are some approved English language countries and Nigeria is part. So you don't really need to bother. So here I mentioned, okay, I'm from Nigeria. I mentioned approved language country. So when you click next, so it is going to reconfirm if your country is from the approved English language countries. And here is showing the list of the countries. Here are the list of the countries that are approved. Okay, and luckily, 
and of course surely nigeria should be part and now going ahead so you choose your department chemical engineering or mechanical engineering or based on a specific department here i'm selecting my professor of interest maybe it's one zan lian zan or probably the professor that you've contacted and the person has directed that okay fine you can um select my name in the potential supervisor when you click next you have to fill in your bachelor's degree yeah i don't think i think there's a mistake here. okay probably that's the name yeah bachelor year of completion you select this also please enter the duration of the degree you mentioned all this so i think there's a particular place i really need to stress all right so your graduation gpa you supply it here as well okay the marking scale if it is 5.0 scale all right so yeah this is asking us if you have completed your master's program if it is no you select no and you continue all right so yeah have you okay now they are asking you if you've published any journal article, book chapter, conference chapter. <clears throat> Take for instance, maybe you you did not really have. Let's say I have. Yes. Okay. Let's let's see what is going to bring take us to year of publication, number of authors, quality of journal, field of study. All right. So now second publication. Yeah, you can probably you are not having any publication, and just mm -hmm. like I've mentioned. When, well, while creating uh, a sample CV, you can also watch the video about creation of an academic CV, competitive one. So you one way to like express that you have experience in writing is to just, you can try to like write something about a specific topic in your field, maybe five pages, or if you are the type that has, <clears throat> that has submitted a lot of experimental reports and it was well written, you can also try to like, you can upload it to your research gate account or you can upload it inside a Google Drive. So another way to do that is that you can say that, okay, fine. I, you can click on others and write something about, um, maybe um, you can try to write something about experimental report so you can try to measure something like that so this will really show that okay you've tried to like you have experience in writing i don't think it's possible for you to graduate as an undergrad uh, graduate from the from bachelor's institution and you now have any experience in writing i think you can try to like say something about that so i'm feeling maybe the year just say the year so I think it is very important that you get a research kit account, try to create a research kit account, mm -hmm. upload all these documents there and try to like put in there, okay, fine, you did it. So even though it is not equivalent to a research publication, but it can attest to your fitness in writing. So I think that is important. So if any potential or probably the reviewer should look into your application, they can feel like, okay, fine, this particular applicant has an experience in writing. So, um, all right, I think we, I started from the beginning again. So I think, let's say, so please don't ignore that section about the publication. I tried to put something there. So let's move forward. Okay, let me click no. So it means I will not have to see the publication aspect again, but in your case, make sure you supply that um all right the work experience you can try to mention something about your work experience especially the research go inside i, I think yeah, you just need to like specify the name of the company and also the your job title as well as the commencement okay fine yeah if you if we have any award. So I think filling this application form really requires you 
to go inside my channel and check out make an academic series. So here I have explained how you can really create an award. Take for instance, maybe you had a very high score, maybe you're in the top 2% in a particular course. Take for instance, maybe in my case, like chemical engineering, thermodynamics, probably, probably I have like, let's say it's 5%. Or ninety percent, and I feel like okay, I'm in the top two of this particular course. You can say top two percent in chemical engineering, thermodynamics. So try to give something like that there. So so this type of information makes your application very competitive. So and you can put as many as much as you want. I think there you can only put maximum of two. That is if you don't have any um relevant award and mind you please make sure you are putting relevant award to your application relevant award to your application let's continue okay yeah this is where you have to put do you currently hold okay if you go so as well you have to put your cv i really want to plead with you make sure you check or i i'm very sure that everybody already has a cv but try to check the video and see and compare it with what i've made so you can use that to review your own cv as well you need to upload maybe your passport or birth certificate and here is the final submission link so you just have to submit your application then wait for for the official notification or stuff like that so i think this is all about um Try about the Monash University Research Masters and PhD Scholarship. So I want to advise everyone again, try to check my channel about um, how to write um, an email to professor and get a quick reply, as well as making of academic CV. If you already have one, fine. Just try to use it to compare your application, uh, your application CV. So I think that would be all. If you have any comment or any suggestion or something to improve, try to put it there in the comment. I will try as much as possible to reply. So I think that would be all. Please like and subscribe. So I think that's all. Thank you so much.